Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a film look with um, regular digital footage. Now, the film look is something that many people desire, and it's just, it's not really exactly generic. It's just a general term for making your footage look professional and like something you see in the movies. Now, um, it, you know, when you do this in any program, it's not one size fits all. I can't just tell you do this, do this, didn't do that. It really applies to every any type of footage. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to watch some of your favorite movies and uh, see what kind of look you're going to replicate for your footage. Now, um, say if you want to replicate that kind of war flick look, which a lot of people want to um, do because, it, you know, they love to make like action movies on YouTube. I think Saving Private Ryan is a great example. So uh, you can just watch that here. So, you know, you can see that very, very low, you know, they really, uh, this kind of, uh, style is very, uh, unique because they use a very high shutter speed and it's very shaky. So, uh, you can show replicating that look. So, one thing you want to know is when you film your footage, you want to, um, give it a very a shallow depth of field. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can do it with a 35mm adapter or you could just, um, focus a little bit. Um, I have a 35mm adapter, but they're kind of expensive, so, you know, you may as well just try to do it yourself. Or you could do it in post-production, um, by, uh, drawing, creating two layers, duplicating them, and then, um, make, setting the top one to, uh, lens blur, then drawing a, a mask around your first, uh, subject that you want to not blur out, and then just rotoscope it. But, uh, yeah. So now we're actually going to be getting into creating those uh, color correcting looks. So you want to create a new composition. If you don't know how to do this, you should watch my other tutorial. Uh, so. Yeah. And uh, one thing, you want to um, also make it look like film. Shoot in 24 frames per second. Or, yeah, shoot in 24p because otherwise it won't look like film. Or it'll look like... You know, it won't look like film, because 24p is what film is shot in. So, uh, import our footage here. And, uh, let me just get my camera on, because I got a, I'm using the HFS 100 just to show you that, uh, you can do this on a rather, uh, not as film camera, because, you know, film cameras are $25,000. Or, you know, actually more than that. Like, the red is 25 that's a lot. So here we go, and I will just find my footage. All right, so I have my footage here. And it's gonna take a second to import, and we'll just drag this down here, and we have my footage right there. So uh, as you can see, I just did a shot of my brother kind of walking, and. Uh, I really kind of wanted to replicate that Saving Private Ryan look. I didn't really use the focusing knob because it was really hot outside. It's 113 degrees. But, um, yeah, as like I said, a lot of this, a lot of the color correction is in post-production. So, um, I shot this at 1 250 of a shutter speed. So it gives it more of that choppy style of a look. Uh, so there we go. So the first main thing you see in films is a 2.4 aspect ratio, or these black bars you see. But, uh, yeah, the aspect ratio makes it look way more like film. And so now we're really, that really looks pretty good. Um, so, yeah, this looks pre this looks pretty good. Uh, that's, you know, you see it in pretty much all movies uh, in their original state. And so you can get this free aspect ratio converter from Video Copilot. They have one. It's completely free. You just download it off their plugins. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to color correct it to make it match your look. Now the war look is very uh, unsaturated look, so you can do this one of two ways. You can just use Film Magic Pro and adjust it to your liking, uh, which is from Video Copilot 2, or you can go to Effect, sorry, Effect, Color Correction, Curves. Now I use curves a lot just because it's really easy to make minor adjustments here and I'm just gonna make do that and we can go to the red uh, blue channel and bring the blues up a little bit more maybe like that 
And green, you know, since there's a lot more green in the scene, you really want colors to pop out like you're using more of an expensive camera. And as you can see, that already looks, if I don't say so myself, great. I mean, that looks pretty good. But, um, yeah, so that looks good. Uh, if you have Filmagic Pro, I'll show you how to use that. So just undo, 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 undo. Alright, so we type in Filmagic Pro here. And just go down and try to find it. Alright. Now, Filmagic Pro has a lot of effects here. And there's really a lot to choose from. So, my favorite, just to make it anything look like film, is Enhance. Or, you know, Enhance, you can do that. Or you can enhance the warms. Or, you can go ahead and enhance the cools. Now, I like that, but it's a little too dark. So, what we're going to do here is we're just going to change that up a little bit because, um, you know, we don't want anything looking too overly darkened, so we're just going to change that a little bit and bring that up, right down, alrighty. So that looks pretty good, and you might want to change the exposure a little bit because usually on movies, especially in Hollywood, you don't really see it, uh, the whites too exposed because um, it just doesn't look professional. But, yeah, it's starting to look pretty decent. But, you know, a lot of the film look is just how you shoot your footage. And uh, over here, you can see it is, you know. And you also want to make sure you have good hands and good camera. But uh, we'll undo that effect because that is just one thing. And I, there's actually a bunch of other ones in Video Copilot. Green Easy is a great preset, but, you know, I think it's a little exaggerated, but, you know, it still looks great. And, uh, this, you know, you can just kind of play around with the colors, and my main thing to tell you is that, uh, just make sure, if you want to do film, there are basically three key things. There's shooting in 24p, there's always, you know, over-exaggerated saturation, and there's always the aspect ratio. And, you know, though that, I mean, that may sound really simple to a lot of guys, but, I mean, you know, that's basically, if you want to make your stuff look like film, just do that, and it'll look great, you know? So, uh, yeah, I hope this helped. Um, so I'll just bring it down a little bit. Hope this all helped. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, because I'm trying to make partner. So, yeah, bye.